Welcome back to Tarantula Zone. Today we're going to be looking at how to care for the Amythimus sheetate. The Amythimus sheetate is one of the most underrated tarantulas within the hobby, yet these remarkable tarantulas have a shy personality but are still capable of delivering a nasty bite. They were first discovered in 1891 by Swedish arachnologist Tamalin Thorell and assigned to his new genus Amythimus. In 1903, they were synopsized to the Syriopagopus genus by Eugene Simo. In 2014, the phylogenetic study of their evolution and DNA was relooked at, and in 2015, Andrew Smith restored them to their original genus, the Amothemus. There are only two species within the Amothemus genus the Shite and the Thorelli. They are similar looking, just with an overall black colour, yet still with those remarkable tiger patterns on the abdomen. Although the Lampropelma violaceps once belonged to the Amothemus genus, it no longer does. The Oshite is a typically arboreal looking tarantula with long legs and a slim body. The abdomen of this species is covered in a tiger-like pattern given its common name, the Malaysian earth tiger. They have a very prominent sexual dimorphism, with the females being brown whilst juveniles, gaining a lighter carapace and more of a black to brown coloration with hints of blue as they age. This mixed with their red hairs, you get an almost purple coloration to them as they mature. Males will have an olive green coloration from a young age, and as they grow, the green will become more prominent. The unique tiger-like pattern on the abdomen remains on both males and females through maturity, yet slightly more visible on females. As it was previously named Syriopagopus shite, you may find that people still call it by that name. Malaysian earth tiger is the most common name used for this species, aside from its scientific name. Amothemus shite are from the tropical climate of Kedah, Langkawi and Penang in Malaysia. Because of deforestation, the number of shite in the wild are dramatically falling, although they are available quite readily within the hobby. However, due to them being not particularly popular and challenging to breed, they are becoming harder to get your hands on. For females, you can expect them to live up to 15 years, slightly longer if kept cooler and fed less frequently. And as like all tarantulas, males live exceptionally shorter lives, with a max lifespan being around three to five years. Like most tree-dwelling Asian arboreals, they are a species that prefer a tall hide with a moist substrate. As a sling, you can keep them in a small clear deli cup with ventilation, moist substrate and a small stick to climb. But as like most arboreal slings, they are more likely to burrow. Although they are arboreal, they are opportunistic, meaning they will burrow or hide in pre-made hides if their setup will allow for it. Because of their shy nature, this is a species that you won't see very often, and one that will only appear at night when on the search for prey. Once molted a few times, they will become a little more confident and will soon prefer to hide in a vertical hide rather than a burrow. You should provide plenty of snug hiding places to allow them to have a stress-free environment. If this isn't offered, they will web up an area for themselves, although this is particularly stressful for the tarantula as it subjects them to being out in the open for a long time. You can also add real or artificial plants to give your tarantula more places to escape. Due to the wet and dry seasons of Malaysia, where they will often get continuous rainfall to completely dry, the O Shitate does prefer warm and humid conditions. These should range between 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, with a humidity level of around 60 to 70 percent. Humidity levels can be kept by keeping a water dish within the enclosure and misting when needed. Like all Asian tarantulas, the Amythimus shite is a fast species with extremely toxic venom, which has been reported to be one of the strongest in the tarantula kingdom. Although timid in nature, if provoked or threatened, they can bolt, and they're not afraid to bite. They are an old world species, so they don't possess urticating hairs. They are similar to Pistolteria in regards to they would rather flee than fight. So to minimize the chances of getting tagged while carrying out maintenance, 
In short, there are plenty of places where your tarantula can escape to. As slings, they will feed on pinhead crickets, small roaches and fruit flies. Like all other tarantulas, once they start to gain size, you can introduce mealworms and other large prey items. You should aim to feed your Mythomus shitae once a week, unless in pre-melt or freshly malted. If food is refused, leave it for a few hours, then take it out if there's still been no interest. Remember that leaving a prey item with your tarantula during pre-melt can cause serious harm and even death, as crickets have a reputation of chewing on tarantulas when they're in their most vulnerable state. Amothemus shite slings have a relatively fast growing rate compared to others, yet as they age, this slows down slightly although this still remains faster than most species in terms of growth rate. Pre-malt lasts around the same time as other tarantulas and can be sped up by warmer conditions. Mature tarantulas will hit around 8 cm body length with a leg span of 22 cm, which makes it a relatively large tarantula. To summarise, adding a mythomus shite to your collection will bring you a lot of enjoyment. This swiftness, colours and temperament are exciting to view. That being said, these are an old world species and we only recommend them to very experienced keepers due to their feisty attitude when provoked and the venom potency. We hope this video has been informative and enjoyable. If you have an Odeshite, please let us know in the comments below. That's all from us from now. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>